Well, anyway, uh, about yeah, our Fred, Fred Meyer. Meyer. Like, our Fred Meyer, did you know, our Fred Meyer is so good that it's actually been awarded so many state awards and county awards that uh, it's considered, like, the best Fred Meyer in state. I'm not even joking. It's it's really crazy. That's why our Fred Meyer is so nice. Have yeah. you been to, like, other Fred Meyers? Yeah, You're, I like, went to one in Portland, right? And it's Portland. probably really bad. It was old. And yeah, it looks gross. like a warehouse. Most of them look like warehouses. Because they probably were yeah. back then. Like, ours is really nice, and it's like a small mall because it has a Starbucks in it. And I think a, a lot of them have bakery. Starbucks. True. That's okay, true. That's kind of like a DQ funny story. and Julius. Orange Julius is now. Funny story, actually. Um, I went to... I was in Seattle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I went to go get a hot chocolate from the airport yeah and i went there and i was just like hey mom let's get a hot chocolate she's like all right no problem and then i went over there and i, I looked at the prices and i was just like okay that's a lot of money mm -hmm. that's that's almost like verbatim that's almost what i just said i was like that's a lot of money because i looked at it and this is a small chalk hot chocolate eight yeah. ounces yeah Six dollars. Six dollars. And that's not even including tax. And tax over there is like eight percent, eight or wow, nine percent. That's, that's really bad. And then I was just like, yeah, mom, I think I'll just get some water. And yeah. then the water was like three dollars. <laughs> but it was better than an eight ounce hot chocolate. It's like, it's, that's pretty impressive how bad the prices are there. Well, it's... I don't even know why it's so expensive. They, m I don't think they have like a special Starbucks mix, but that's what it's like in Starbucks, There's especially in big cities. Like, Prices go up in big cities. Thankfully, we don't live in a big city, but I'd yeah. like to live in a big city to be honest. Even though it'd be all more right. expensive, I mean, we could. I would be able. Our family would. All the families in Brookings would be able to get nicer houses. Yeah, actually, a th a thing is, um, it's oh, yeah. houses seem to be cheaper there too. I notice have in Portland, noticed? they have like four bedroom houses for for like three hundred thousand dollars, and my house is small, yeah. not like super small, but it's small and it's three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, just for living in Brookings, it's like a hundred thousand extra compared to other places because but we, our location is pretty yeah it's because we live really close to a really nice river plus a really nice ocean and then most of the houses here generally have good views like i have a really good view of harbor and i could actually almost see your house from where i am riley yeah and that's like five miles no that's like from the bird as the bird flies that's about as the crow flies as the as the dove flies, as the dove flies, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it's about maybe four miles. I'm I'm betting three and a half ish. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but that's that's not too far if you think about. It. But it's a good thing we have socks, right? Yeah, it is indeed. Or else we wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Have you also considered uh, the earthquake that's supposed to happen uh, soon? In uh, no. Like the giant earthquake on the coast of the west coast. Isn't it? It's, it's that's scaring to, me, Chris. It's like a 9.0. It's supposed to be like a 9.0 earthquake. That's not good. Do you know how big that is? That would rock our world. Literally, yeah, I get that. <laughs> That's a good one. But but anyway, like literally, uh, Brookings will be in the ocean because, uh, the west coast is supposed to slide into the ocean like three or four miles because of the faults. Yeah, do you know how bad that is? That means your house, my house, every single bloody house in Brookings would is going to be would be gone. And you know what that means? That's like, I wouldn't care because I'd be dead. No, not necessarily. 
I mean, yeah, I think I'd be dead. I think I would be crushed underneath my own house. Mm, I think I would just be like, ba bam, and break out, and then I'd be on the ocean, and then I'd have about an hour to digest what just happened before this tsunami. The biggest ever recorded on Earth kills us all. <laughs> all the survivors. Yeah, but, and you <laughs> only have an hour to swim like, like out. three miles in. Yeah. And then you have to run. Yeah. Like a gajillion miles into the ocean. You have to, like, run to Texas. I, what I would do is, if I survived the earthquake, I would swim out into the sea farther. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Because... If you think about it, your best chance is not getting to land, but to swim out farther where the water won't do the as much damage. But if it is that big of a tsunami, I don't know how well you're going to survive. Actually, yeah, that's true. That would You'd have to go like 10 miles out, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, you'd probably go way farther than that. Yeah, you, yeah, you'd have you to swim would. to Australia to live. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. But yeah, I don't think you'd live. Like, what would your best chance of surviving be in that situation? I mean... Uh, I think if you went underwater... Uh, oh, I got no, even... actually, no, that's terrible. Because if you went underwater, there's, uh, like, little curls of wa water. And those could just tumble you around like a tumbleweed. And then you'd tumbleweed. get... So and then you wouldn't be able to come back up. And then you'd drown because you ha you're hungry. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a really good point. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the best idea... I mean, like, if there was if there was surviving boats with, like, motor jet boats, I'd just be like, I would steal that thing so fast, I would yeah, be considered a black man. And then, wow. <laughs> and then I would uh, save all my friends and all the black people I just offended. And then okay, you made up for it just <laughs> in time, Chris. That was <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> uh, that's so bad. I apologize to everybody out there. We are not racist at all. That was just, you know. It was just. And that's it was actually in the heat of the moment. That that, well, I mean, you can you could perceive that different ways like you could think of that as in being fast which I think of it which is very which is actually a compliment or you can think of it as black people stealing stuff and that is not how I think about that because I am a quarter black brah so what? maybe that's why I stole some stuff in like second grade maybe but, but anyway in uh, the back second to our grade topic. my teacher my teacher's husband was a donut maker. Oh, that so must get, have been nice. Dude, we get we got donuts like every other week. It was so good. Nice. But I was so angry because we had to cut them in half, right? And I was really fat back then. <laughs> Actually, I just had a huge appetite for donuts. So well, that's I like, think everybody had a huge appetite for donuts. Yeah, and I was really, really angry because I had to split donuts with people. And I was just like, no, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't like it. I do not but like I never, that I never fought back. I was just too good. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's one more topic. Wait, we never really finished the tsunami topic about what we do to survive. Yeah, I was, I, I got interrupted by, by me laughing so hard, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my donut story. But anyway, uh, like, stealing the boat would be best option than saving as many people as I can and then going out to sea, I think, would be the best option. Yeah, probably. I think I think you'd have a good chance of living that way. Yeah, but anyway, uh, the other topic I want to talk about was... Uh, a girl we met today on the PlayStation Network. Oh, yeah, that was exhilarating. That was amazing, because me and Riley put on quite a show for her. Yeah, that was fun. That was really funny. Like That was the first time Chris and I have ever met a, a girl. girl on PlayStation Network. But yep. Anyway. I was pretty happy. I was just like, dude, this is awesome. 
Yeah, and I was just like cracking jokes left and right, and she was like bawling. She's like, <laughs> yeah, she's just bawling. <laughs> but then apparently she was 29. <laughs> so yeah, and apparently she was 29, which made it just really awkward. Yeah. For one, and I was like, she did well, make she's, awkward. she, like, I kind of heard, it kind of sounded like she was, like old, older. Wait, but you really couldn't tell. Like, yeah, you couldn't really tell. Yeah. You couldn't tell if it was just like her being like 18 or 16-ish and just sounding kind of hot or if it was uh <laughs> or if it was her just being like m like young young adult-ish age. Yeah. And when I say young adult, I don't mean it in like the old people way where they're like, "Oh, you're a young man. You're just a young man." But anyway, like 29 is pretty decently aged. Not really, actually. You still would be considered kind of yeah. hot by most people's... No, we've perception. never even seen her, Chris. If, Come on. if she was. If she was. She would still be considered kind of hot because she wouldn't be... Age-wise. Yeah, because she wouldn't be old. Like, she wouldn't have, like, any of the old mature look yet. Quite yet. So, that's what I was getting at, but, uh, she, like, I at one point, fun. I was like, yeah, we were having a lot of fun, that was really fun, and then there was four or five other people with mics that were just, like, listening to us the whole time. Yeah, I know. And, like, when, when it was done, I felt kind of stupid, but I was like, oh, that was really fun, and all these people were just, like, commenting on, uh what just happened and I was like wow and they're like oh yeah man you you pretty boss and they're like like you were gang up with her and I was like oh yeah we did we, we were good and then I went who was bad who was the bad person in that conversation I think we took turns yeah we kinda took turns I was like I like I started off by calling you a closet nerd yeah and she's like I like closet nerds yeah, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then and then she's like, I like the name Riley, and yeah. then I was like, why? And she's like, because I have a daughter named Riley, and I was just like, oh. Oh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, um, yeah, that that's just, just the that's point when it got like really, really awkward. Weird. Yeah, it got but awkward. It was still fun. It was really fun, despite that that minor thing. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, you know what? We have something in common. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was fun. And she was like, she was like, "What do you have in common, the child or, or the name Riley?" Mm -hmm. And then and I was like, "Yeah, he has a child." Yeah, and I was and like, <laughs> "I was like, yeah, I don't think I want a daughter yet." Yeah, I'm only 15. And then she's like, "Good, good, that's that's great." I was like, "Yeah." Like, the whole conversation started. The only reason we met her was because. I you like, noticed her. Yeah, no, not me. I was like, I was like, uh, I was talking to some people, like, trolling them, and I was like, you guys are a bunch of chicks, and, because they're just oh, like, Oh, yeah. Because the one person was talking really, really gaily, and I was like, I was like, y you guys are just a bunch of chicks, and she's like, is there anything wrong with chicks? I'm like, no, in fact, that is quite possibly the greatest interruption I've ever heard. And, yeah, and then I was like, "It's a girl." Yeah, it's you're like, girl. "Chris, you're like, Chris, it's a girl, it's a girl." I was like, "I was like, well, hey there." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was, it just got awkward once I found out it was 29 because we were like kind of hitting her on her almost. Yeah. And <laughs> it was kind of awkward, even like when she had a child, that made it just more awkward. We're like, okay, um, just like. That was kind of odd. Yeah. Dude, I bet she gets it all the time, though. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that was, like, that was the highlight of... That was today. the highlight of my gaming career Yeah, ever. that was the highlight of a what would consider their gaming careers. Which yeah. would not be too great. But anyway, what's that really good chick at Call of Duty? Um, Miss Heart Attack? YouTuber. Yeah. Like, for a second, I was like, do I know you? I was like, I was thinking if I 
I'd say if she was a famous YouTuber or something because she sounded kind of like her at one point. Didn't she? Yeah, Miss she did. Attack? But she was... And she's an Xbox player anyway, so... Yeah, that's exactly what I was... So I was, I, was like, I was like, no, it can't be her. And I was like, well, I just started talking and I dismissed it. But that was pretty fun. What else? What else? Um, Let's talk about food because I'm in that food. kind of mood. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. But uh, my my 15 minutes is almost up, Riley. It's almost about your time to take over for the next 15 minutes. But blub, blub, blub. Grub, grub. When we yeah, get food back, is good. When we get back, we will actually continue uh, the conversation on food and chemicals and how we are all going to die from cancer because of how many chemicals are in our food. So, I yeah. will see you guys after the break. Goodbye. <laughs>